Okay, guys. Now, after looking at all the gates on this horse, let's get into my honest opinion on the horse. Now, first of all, you should know that I love the track business, so it's been one of my goals to own all of them. Right now, I own three because they look like IRL horses that I have ridden or am going to ride. You can look at those horses in the, my latest video that just came out, which was my riding story. Now, with the track net in SSO, the walk is very forward. Very forward moving walk, which I really like. So in a realistic world, if you wanted like an older lesson horse, I would not suggest the track net. I would choose the track net as more of a forward moving lesson horse if you're a realistic world. But the track. They, they SSO has um changed the generation three track. It's a lot more fancy and they're a lot more up on their too, so it's a lot more of a collected track. These Slow canter or canter. I always really like this game on horses. I really don't know why to me it's most realistic. Because the horses that I ride, I well, can only slow canter. So, but that's. So, yeah. And that's just my personal opinion. You might like a different gate better. Comment down below what is your favorite gate on the track map. The fast canter or slow gallop. This is the gate that I often feel with SSO goes a little long, where the horse's hind end may move too much, or there might be a glitch in its hind end area, so like a tube will glitch out, or its hind quarters will do something weird or unnatural to a real horse. But overall, the track, I think they did a pretty good job at getting it right. Now, the gallop, or the fast gallop, as some people call it, this one is often worse than the one before it. So it's basically the one before it, but worse. So I only really need to go because I'm not realistic role playing and I'm doing like a championship or training my horse or just running around because I feel like it. But I would, I honestly really don't like it. The jumps. Now, SSO updated the trackers jump a while ago, so they now jump like the new generation 3 previous. It's really hard to take pictures with them because their tail tucks so far into their body when they jump, it doesn't even look natural. I wish they hadn't done it. The jump before was, in my opinion, a lot better, and they had a different opinion, or they could leave sort of love this jump, but just change the tail motion. All the jumps I feel like are the same, they just put them at all the different speeds, so you can kind of tell if they are a little bit different, but to me, they all look similar. So, for the backup on this horse, it's slower than some, which isn't ideal given that they have a very forward moving walk, so it doesn't really work together, if you know what I mean. Um, the rear, I feel like, I mean, I just don't like rears. Um, as his little horses, because I often feel like it's just the way that it's done is always really unnatural. But that's just, you know, my opinion. I sound really tired right now, I'm sorry. It's really late, but I have no other time to film it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of My Honest Opinion. The next one will be coming out maybe in two weeks. These take me a while to edit. Now I'm going to give you guys two options. I need you to comment down below which horse I should do. Or maybe three. I don't know. We'll see if my mouth runs on. So, should I do the starter horse? Should I do the Finland? Or should I do. Um, let's see. How about let's go let's go the Jordan Co-op. So comment down below. Starter, Finland, or Jordan Co-op. Bye guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and don't forget. Comment down below. I would make a poll. Don't
actually have a community page yet. So, comment down below what you think, or which work you think we should do next. Bye!